Our round six match of the day saw a struggling demon, struggling with their confidence as much as anyone else, but only having won one of their first five matches against Subiaco, undefeated coming into this match as pretty warm favourites. But sometimes when your back is up to the wall, it brings out the best in a player group. And certainly that was what the demons were looking forward this afternoon. But it was Subiaco that got off to a much better start. In fact, Subiaco dominated proceedings early on in the piece, kicking the first five goals of the game, largely through the efforts of Rhett Kerr we saw on screen just a moment ago. He kicked two early goals in the first quarter. Sam Butler threaded one through for the Demons and they were always in touch. They trailed however by nine points at quarter time and Subiaco for large parts of the match looked as though they were the better team but Perth to their credit just kept themselves in the match. A great snap there from former East Perth player in Tim Noakes. Kept them within touch. There's no doubt about that. The Lions led by 15 points at half time. Big Callum Sinclair combining there with Jason Bristow, the Ruckman and the Rover converting for the Lions. They stretched their lead out to 10 points at three quarter time but the momentum seemed to be swinging against the Lions despite the efforts of Kane Bloxage who combined there with Reese Waters a good team goal being brought up here by Subiaco, Callum Sinclair the player who nailed it for the Lions but the Perth Demons buoyed by a tremendous swell of optimism from their supporters who were very very vocal the longer the game went supported by Nick Lower's brilliance at times, long searching kick there to this man Simon Donovan, only a handful of games to the credit of this player but he certainly is a player of the future. He kicked four goals, four in the afternoon. His four goals coming in the second half of the match, and that was really what changed the fabric of the game, along with the brilliance of standover medalist Ross Smith, Ross Young, I should say, who never stopped trying, creative hand pass, set up an opportunity for a teammate, which was converted, and all of a sudden, after kicking eight straight behinds in the third quarter it was Perth who started to find the major opening. In the final quarter they kicked four goals, three to Subiaco's two goals, two and that despite the efforts of Blake Broadhurst who kicked a great late goal, the Demons kept on coming, their supporters could sense something brilliant and when it happened and that was the snap goal from Simon Donovan from deep in the left full forward pocket that really broke Subiaco's spirit and here he is with one of the last kicks of the match, he was the player who sealed it and it was uh, justified too because he had been outstanding particularly in the second half and the players came to rejoice with him. It was a terrific day for the Demons after they trailed by nine points at quarter time by 15 points at the half, still by 10 points at three quarter time they rallied in the final quarter to produce their best football for the season, running out winners 11, uh, 10 goals 16 76 to 11 7 73 the margin, just three points. Going to next week, the first Fremantle Derby of the season. It's East Fremantle versus South Fremantle. East Fremantle, the home team, will be on air from 2pm.